today's program furnished by funding from Bill's Bed Shop, where smiles are everywhere. If you're craving hot dogs and more, and you're in the area, then look no farther than Coney Island, downtown Newcastle, on Kennedy Square. When you have legal issues, Paula Chalala, attorney at law, 113 North Mercer Street, Newcastle. Trusting your loved one to a funeral director is a very personal and emotional decision. The funeral director you choose must understand the importance of the decision you have made. When you call the William and Roger DiCarbo Funeral Home, I recognize what a privilege it is to be chosen at your time of need. We will provide you and your family with the best service possible, with sincerity and compassion. The William and Roger DiCarbo Funeral Home, family owned and operated since 1941. Broadcasting from the greatest castle in the world, in the County of Lawrence, NCTV 45. NCTV 45, Newcastle, the train. Good morning, Newcastle, and a very pleasant welcome to Newswatch Morning. And uh, I'm just uh, checking our audio, and uh, we're in good shape as uh, we embark on this first Monday of October the 5th. And uh, hopefully, you've got that first cup of coffee outside. A little rainy and drizzly, for lack of better terms. And uh, let's take a look. Here you go. Current temperature, 46 degrees. And um, it, it's just one of those, uh, when you get up, it made it really easy for sleeping this morning i feel like 46 degrees 96 percent humidity winds are calm and uh barometric pressure 30.19 so um just expect it we're gonna get some more sunshine during the day so that is a good thing but uh we'll give you a quite a bit more in Lawrence County 45 weather and uh, now let's uh, get the traffic and uh, it's dark out so I see no reason to just show you black screens it's just me on this uh, Monday morning, and uh, hey, it is what it is. So, um, first of all, let me tell you, be careful out there as you're out and about maybe going to work because uh, the deer will be out. It's dark. You get some leaves on the road. It could be slippery. All those things entering into what you got. Now, here's PennDOT's traffic uh, on 376. And uh, they refreshed this. This is at the 422 Interchange West. And uh, 
Let's see, are we going to get it? There you go. Normal traffic flow, a lot uh, heading um, to the Pittsburgh, uh, to Pittsburgh to work as uh, nothing doing there. Now, as we go to I-376, Interchange just on the other side, headed down towards Pittsburgh. Normal traffic flow there. You just see about three or four cars. Um, let's take a look at Pennsylvania Turnpike. Westbound not available. State Route 422. Up there by Walmart. A little bit heavy uh, as you make your way through there. Slow down. Remember, there's construction at the entrance to the plaza. And I don't want to see anybody get in a bad way there. Now, um, as we look at State Route 422, 168 at Martha Street, normal traffic flow as it is moderate to heavy. And then we look at Martha Street. And we've got the same thing as uh, some tanker trucks and some bigger trucks heading out that way. Maybe an early start through our area. So that gives you a good roundup of what's going on with respect to uh, the 422, 376 interchange. Now let's go out to I-79. And when we take a look at I-79 and 422, as uh, you're making your way south, and uh, they don't have a, they're, oh, here, uh, moderate to heavy. Southbound, uh, definitely heavier than the northbound lane. Uh, you're looking at... Pretty good traffic. Allow yourself some extra time. Attention travelers on the PA Turnpike Ramp Advisory. I-76 at Beaver Valley. Ramp from PA North. From PA 18 North to I-76. Closed because of road work. Effective until Saturday the 10th at 6 p.m. So, um... If you're making your way through that area, that's uh, what you're dealing with. Just uh, to give you some uh, updated information uh, as uh, your morning progresses. Well, folks, um, quite a bit in, quite a bit to talk about. <coughs> and I got a call. You know, uh, it's, um, and I'm not spiking the football here. Uh, there are things that I've said, and uh, they are starting to come to pass. And it's interesting because a lot of folks aren't really following very closely what actually is going on here. And I'm going to talk about the city here in a little bit. And I wanted to perk your interests as we get and climb over to this coronavirus situation. 1158, 1161, that's where we've been. People are not getting hospitalized to the tune that they were. Uh, so that's a good thing uh, to stop and think about it. Uh Panic is the worst thing you can have. Practice the good hygiene. You know, masks make you feel better. By all means, put them on. Uh, okay? 
especially, and I understand, if you're in a large crowd, uh, there's no reason to go out there and not have one. You know, if, if you're going to be driving by yourself in a car, then uh, that makes no sense. So uh, keep that in mind as you go through uh, your day. And uh, now let's talk about, and I'm going to square right over here, the city. Now, this a press release from the from the um, president of council, and uh, I want you to think what this says as uh, I read it. After a dialogue with the Act Forty Seventeen and representative of the Department of Economic Development regarding the advantages and disadvantages of an 18-month extension, the Newcastle City Council has determined to exercise this one-time fiscal option that allows us to use 300000 for operations. With a challenge, 2021, budget process ahead. City Council is willing to consider cuts in public safety, public works, and other essential services. We also stress that Mayor Fry's implementation in implication that Newcastle would be losing millions of dollars as inaccurate and irresponsible. Now, you know, hot dog, I'm glad for being available anytime on your time. Remember back when there was this little election and I'm not telling you who to be for. I said, be an educated candidate, be an educated voter. Chris Fry, I asked him several times what was his plan. I went to the Act 47 meetings. He didn't show up. He wasn't there. Now, gee, you know, I feel like Ronald Reagan. I will not make age and inexperience a subject of this editorial. Chris Fry is walking in the land of the giants and really, really doesn't have a good foothold on what's going on. It's, it's absolutely terrible and uh, this press release came out yesterday. And um, so I ask you to stop and think about, you know, what I've told you, what, what we said in the past, because it is very, very important. Um, any initial hesitation of an eight month extension was due to our growing concern that Fry would continue the irresponsible spending and failure to allow the Act 47 exit plan. We have been assured that all mandates will be strictly monitored and enforced. He didn't know what the plan was because he didn't go to a meeting. Once again, we call on Chris Fry to be a good steward of tax dollars 
and our working partners in advance, Newcastle forward towards exit of Act 47. You know, this is one of those things where, oh my goodness, all of these things were said. So when people on the street, I think city council did an excellent job here. When you got a guy that's not willing to listen, people on the street aren't really uh, aware of the situation. If you didn't go to the meeting, go back and watch the Act 47 meeting. You could do it anytime on your time here on NCTV 45. And you'll find out exactly what was said. And you'll know exactly that at that time, candidate Chris Fry wasn't there. Think about it a second. We have... Um, I cheer on city council. Keep holding them in there, Tom. Very important. Tom Smith and city council. Uh, great job. Now, uh, here you go with uh, the, the good old state news and... Uh, you know, outraging IT outrage affecting online voter registration and other services at the Department of State Revenue, Human Services, and the Liquor Control Board. The Office of the Administration and its partners are working to resolve IT hardware issues affecting the state online services in multiple agencies. We are working around the clock with our vendors to bring services back online as quickly as possible and will continue to do so until operations are fully restored, said Secretary of State Administration Michael Newsom. In the meantime, the agencies affected are working to activate their continual plans and provide additional information to customers of the impacted services. It should be the taxpayers. The last issue began at approximately 5.30 on Saturday. So they're working through that. Pennsylvania voters have other options during an interrupted online services. Due to equipment failure at our data center managed by UNIS for the Commonwealth, multiple Commonwealth agencies, including the Department of State, experiencing the outage of many lines, uh, and they go on, they hope we are working around the clock and hope to have them fully restored. Uh, Pennsylvanians can still download and print the paper ballot at vote registration and mail-in ballot applications, as well as other election-related forms and applications uh, are available. Those without access to a printer can call the department toll free hotline 1877 votes pa and uh, or go to votespa.com and they'll get you satisfied or <laughs> to what you need now um Amy Coney Barrett for United States Supreme Court, I am pleased. This is from Senator Pat Toomey. I am pleased that Trump has nominated Amy, 
to sit on the U.S. Supreme Court, given Judge Barrett's intellect and leadership credentials. It is an impeccable character. I was proud to support her confirmation at the Seventh Circuit of Appeals in 2017. So there you go, weighing in from Pat Toomey. Let's go to sports, and we'll be right back. The Cedars Restaurant in Newcastle wants you to indulge in the food from their pleasing menu. The Cedars features Mediterranean, pub food, Middle Eastern cuisine, and so much more. They're open every day, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Call the Cedars on the east side at 827 Addis Street, Newcastle, 724-658-9543. That's 724-658-9543. Hi, my name is Josh Turner. This is Peter Sports Train. As for your Monday Night Football game this week, the Falcons take on the Packers at Lambeau Field at 8.15 tonight. The Falcons are six and a half point underdogs against the Packers going into Lambeau without fans this week. As for your baseball games, the Houston Astros, or excuse me, yes, the Houston Astros take on the Oakland Athletics at Oakland for Game 1 of their NLDS series, and also the other American League teams. The Yankees take on the Rays for Game 1 of the NLDS at 8.07 tomorrow, excuse me, the ALDS. As for other Game 1s, they'll be played on Tuesday, with the Marlins taking on the Braves at Atlanta, the Padres taking on the Dodgers at LA. I'm Bill Turner, and this is the Swedish Sports Fan. This program furnished by Sporting Goods, 23 East Washington Street, Newcastle. Call 724-658-2535. This program sponsored by Penn Ohio Bottled Water Company. Brian Chez owner. Call 724-498-4760. Brian will be glad to visit you. Hi friends, I'm Gary West, and whether you find Augustine's Pizza at your local grocery store, well, the folks at Augustine's Pizza hope that their pizza is always your first choice for any and all occasions. Jim Micko & Sons, 347 East Washington Street in Newcastle, can service a lot of your lawn equipment. It's jimmickoandsons.com, their website, and you can email them at jimmickoandsons at verizon.net, their phone number, 724-652-6911. Proud sponsors of Community Television in Newcastle. Today's programming furnished by a grant from Chalala and Carney Florist on Mill Street in Newcastle. Alley's Upper Crust at 1700 Highland Avenue has a full menu. Pizza, roll-ups, salad, soup, 
chicken sandwiches, strombolis, dinners. They are just great for dine-in or take-out. Don't forget to give them a call at 724-652-7553. It's Allie's Upper Crust. Hello, and uh, we're back. 46 degrees in Newcastle, and... Uh, Let's continue on with Newswatch Morning as uh, we cr crawl into this first Monday. You know, it being so dark outside, and uh, I, I guess cloudy, uh, whatever, it just seems as though, uh, holy cow, hey. You know, it's that perfect sleeping weather. So uh, hopefully you're up and at them. You know, being available anytime on your time, we gave you all the rundown of traffic. So weather up. Weather will be up next. And uh, we will be taking care of that momentarily as uh, I just checked a look out and I want to uh, kind of make uh, a comment for our people watching on YouTube and uh, I will get that to you as being fixed uh, we also And I will set up our broadcast key, our YouTube station. Please uh, subscribe to our YouTube page um, and uh, enjoy NCTV45 there. It's uh, it's important and will allow us to increase our viewership. So I apologize for that little glitch I noticed. Uh, if you noticed, it's getting colder significantly so uh, lie heap is out there especially during this pandemic call the county office for more information on that now let's uh, take a look at that radar 47 degrees 96 percent humidity winds calm 30.19 barometric pressure, 45. Visibility, 5 miles. Now, here's your radar. There's Ohio. It is pretty clear with a few spots through the center of the state. Pennsylvania showing that ground clutter and fog, which will be burning off. Let's go to Lawrence County 45 weather, and we'll be back. My name is Brittany. Uh, I have suffered with depression for 15 years. My name is Sam, and I've been experiencing depression for over 12 years. This is the first place. I will always recommend for somebody to come if they're suffering from depression or anxiety or any kind of problem like that. Easy clean car and van wash. Where your clean wash is our goal. more for the point two point conversion try those daily specials run right in and you will need to be a point guard to score at Wendy's lunch for the game just right for lunch or anytime it's Lindy's lunch 
2402 Wilmington Road, Newcastle. BSP. Big Shot Bobs are the wings for me. 50 flavors make it right you see. BSB has sandwiches you have to try. Stop in and you'll know why. Every day of the week you see. Call or stop in to BSB. Big Shot Bob's will be your favorite place. Just like me. How is your work week looking? And, uh, well, folks, not to worry. Local radar showers moving out, uh, and that's the good news. And when you look at the national scene, here is why. Cloud cover off the coast. Now, this cloud... These clouds will move through, and behind it, sunshine. So let's take a look at your weather chart. And here you go, 45 of rain last night. Today, gradual clearing, becoming sunny, 62. Light northwest wind will push those clouds out of here. Monday night, mostly clear and 40. Your Tuesday, sunny and 68. Tuesday night, partly cloudy, a low of 50. Wednesday, sunshine, 71. Your Wednesday night, mostly clear and 45. Thursday, sunshine and 61. Thursday night, mostly clear and 38. That's a cut alert night. Your Friday, Sunshine, 65. Friday night, mostly clear, a low of 44. And Saturday, this is an anomaly. Mostly sunny and 74. As you get one of those days that get really up there and you, it'll be a day to get out and about. Now, that was Lawrence County. 45 weather and we're going to take this break we'll be right back after these messages boo thursday friday and saturday except the first saturday in october it's a haunted car wash consisting of a 12 dollars ultimate wash candy a haunted show shows consist of many aeronomic decorations haunters and a five minute movie right before you go into the car wash Wait. so the cost twenty dollars don't get out of your car for a spooky good time hello friends and it's los amigos uh, let me tell you what great food whether you get the chimichangas, enchiladas, tacos, whatever you get, you're going to love them. The nice, friendly atmosphere. Stop by. Tell them NCTV45 sent you. It's Los Amigos. Great dining experience. Today's programming is brought to you by NCTV 45 and NC Radio 450, Newcastle's community television station. This program sponsored by Lombardo's Apothecary. 
located at 1230 South Mill Street on the south side of Newcastle. At our law firm, we see you. Come see us at lgkg.com. Special thanks going out to Town Mall Pizza for sponsorship of this program, located in the Cascade Galleria, Newcastle. There's more than me. Well, folks, that's well, going folks, to do it here, do and, here. and uh, uh, how about if we how press, about this, if we button? press this, button. this button? Well, folks, that's going to do it here for NCTV 45's Morning News Watch. Like I've told you, have a friend tell a friend about NCTV 45. They'll be glad you did. We're available anytime on your time. Now, also, make sure you get out and like that Facebook page or that you try this again make sure you get out and subscribe to our YouTube page very important as if you do we'll be able to get some high definition stuff going here at NCTV 45 now uh, make sure you get that second cup of coffee and have a super day in what I call the greatest castle in the world, in the county of Lawrence. Have a great day, everybody, and we'll see you again real soon.